Mario Pizzini, Director of the uh, Development Center at the OECD. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Uh, my first question would be, we have spoken today about uh, some of the topics that affect Africa's future, climate change, agriculture, the sustainable development goals. Uh, and on the third session, we also mentioned uh, regional cooperation, which sort of touches all of those topics. So could you tell me what's the OECD's role in fostering uh, regional cooperation in Africa, if it has one? What we were saying this afternoon, just to summarize, is that Africa has a big opportunity, but also this opportunity can turn into a, a curse uh, if not addressed. This is the enormous increase in population. Africa will double population from now to 2050, which means many young people will enter society. This is an advantage, and it was in the case of China or in the case of India, because at present, every young person has to carry an old person in Africa. Tomorrow, many young will be available for an old person. However, if these young people don't find a job that cannot enter in society as they expect to do, then you will have upheaval and tension. So what to do? Many are saying that Africa has to think seriously about diversification, industrialize, and that's true. Africa is too much dependent on uh, natural resources. Could do more in natural resources, but the problem is the dependency. So, it could do that, but it's not enough. It will not absorb the population. Africa can also improve productivity in agriculture, but again, it will not be enough. Africa may increase the public employment, but it will require too much efforts and Africa doesn't have the resources in the public sector. So if there was a magic formula? What would I think it be? that first we need to use all these tools, mm -hmm. but how to mix? It depends from the place where you apply these things. You cannot have the same solution in the Saharan area and in South Africa. Therefore we need to adjust the mix. But also there are a lot of opportunities that are hidden unexploited in Africa. And they are hidden and unexploited because we think that the economy is only foreign direct investment, large firms. No, there are many other opportunities, but they are untouched because the government don't know about them, because the local people don't know how to organize themselves. So we do think that the regional approach, carefully uh, made on the base of the local potential, will help. So we are not it's saying. here where regional cooperation makes more sense. In fact, this is one of the fields. Why? Because Africa did policy in this field in the 60s. But as many other countries, including some European countries, this regional policy have been abandoned in the 70s. It remains some uh, tools here and there in Africa in this field, free zones, certain economic corridor. But the sum of this little initiative is not a strategy. So Africa has to re-enter in building this strategy. Where to find examples? Well, in some OECD country or in other developing country, for sure, an industrialization process will be needed. But I think that there is a lot to be done with small and medium-sized firms and not just big plant so that are very public, nomadic. Private partnership. Yes, yes, including that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.